Good morning. I'm Gary Sunderland. I want to welcome you, welcome you all here this morning for the uh, Sunday worship, as well as those tuning in online at home. Um, I also want to welcome our Nancy Spaulding here today, who's a certified lay person, and she'll be uh, guiding us through this service. Additionally, I'd like to thank anyone and everyone who's had taken a part in making this worship service possible. Your um, efforts and participation are greatly appreciated, and we thank you. A few announcements. Um, if you'd like to be part of the Messiah performance, please uh, see Sherry Holt. Um, you told us about that last week, so we got a clue what's going on there. At any rate, um, once again, it's time for the turkey dinner, the annual performance held here at the Hartman United Methodist Church. Uh, it'll be on Saturday, November 2nd, from 5 to 7 p.m. There's a sign-up sheet out in the bulletin board, and um, sign up for any, anywhere you can help. There's lots of needs for the dinner itself food sources and such. We also need people to work in the kitchen, um, serve the meal, take the tickets, clean up afterwards. <laughs> so, <laughs> and Becky Toth will be uh, more than happy to assign you a position. So, uh, just a quick reminder on Laity Sunday, that is October 20th. And as uh, we're aware, that's an opportunity for any of us who wish to attend to plan, execute, and um, the entire service that day. So um, at this moment, uh, we'll turn it over to Nancy to announce the Apostles' Creed. Is that okay? Or I'll take her. I'll take her. <laughs> what that world? Uh, let's all uh, join in the Apostles' Creed. Uh, please stand, yes. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father and will and come, come again, again to judge, judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the universal church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Uh, call to worship. Oh, go ahead and sit down, please. <laughs> call to worship. Lord, you have called us here this day for healing hope, and transformation. As we listen to the scripture, pray our prayers, sing our hymns, and hear the words of wisdom, open our hearts to hear your claim on our lives that we may fully and joyfully serve you. Amen. Um, the first hymn this morning is The Church is One Foundation. Stand if you're comfortable, and you can find uh, that hymn on, uh, it's number four, 545 in the, uh, in the hymnal.
Please be seated. Uh, prayers of inspiration. Merciful God, we become so enamored with the glitz and glitter of the world. It is as though our lives are filled and lived in a catalog design. We have so much and want so much more. We listen to the pitches in the media about the latest and best of everything. And rather than striving to serve you more faithfully, we strive to gather more and more possessions. Forgive our crass materialism. Break the bonds and chains of our oppression and enslavement to greed. Open our hearts to know that the riches of the kingdom are in service to you. Help us to understand the call you have given us to service. And having heard and understand that call, may we be about the work of the kingdom. For we offer this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, join me in the responsive reading, please. It was easy to come to worship this morning. How hard is it to enter God's kingdom? Get ready. God is waiting for you. Come, let us worship God who is with us always. Amen. Uh, there's a special video, I believe, some special music via video.
second hymn this morning is uh, We Have a Story to Tell the Nations, and um, it's 569 in the hymnal. I think we can probably sit down for this one. reading this morning is from Luke 19, verses 1 through 10. Jesus and Zacchaeus. He entered Jericho and was passing through it. A man was there named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was rich. He was trying to see who Jesus was, but on the account of the crowd, he could not because he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree to see him because he was going to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry, come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried down and was happy to welcome him. All who saw it began to grumble and said, He has gone to be be a guest of one who is a sinner. Zacchaeus stood stood there and said to the Lord, Look, half my possessions, Lord, I will give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone or anything... I will pay back four times as much. Then Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because he too is the son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek out and to save the lost. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thank you, God. Good morning. Um, I am Nancy Spaulding. And I attend the Oak Grove Methodist Church. And um, our pastors are, we have two, because we're also with Howell United Methodist Church. Our pastors are Reverend Doug and Mary Ann McMahon. Reverend Doug gave my name to your pastor, and here I am this morning. Um, it's, I am a certified lay speaker, lay servant, and I have done a number of talks, and I've done different 
various duties within the church. At this point, I would like to invite us to talk to God. Let us pray. Come, Heavenly Father, as we open our hearts to receive your message, and may the words that are spoken be your words and not mine. This I pray in your name. Amen. My message is entitled, An Encounter. I'm going back and forth being, I am a member of a tour group. And I'll give you some insights of what I see as a person traveling. So I'll be doing two roles here. Hello there. Our tour group arrived last night here in Jericho. We were informed by our guide that we would have an early morning meeting. Our guide has been in contact with the guide there at Jericho. It seems that they were going to be making some major changes in the already prepared itinerary for the day. It seems they got word in Jericho that there was a special person coming to Jericho. That's about all they knew at this point. They didn't know what time. They didn't know the location. But it must have been a very, very important person because the streets, they weren't really wide streets, they were narrow ones, and they were beginning to fill up with people. So it must be pretty soon that this special guest was going to arrive. Well, our guide kind of informed us that we needed to stay fairly, fairly close together as the crowds were getting more than what they anticipated. Look up ahead. Look at all of that commotion up there. I wonder what's going on. Maybe it's the new guest. I don't know. I'll, ask, I'll go and ask the guide. Hey, guide, what's going on? Up there? What's all of that ruckus up there? Do you see that turmoil? Is that the new guess? No, it is not. That guy thinks He's better than anybody else. You know who that is? No, I don't know. That's the tax collector. And you know that none of us people likes this tax collector because he steals money from them so that he can live high and mighty and have all of the luxuries that none of us can have. And look at him. He has the audacity to climb up that tree. Well, couldn't you guys Climbed a tree so you could see also? Oh, 
know the authorities would seize us and they would throw us into the dungeon. But that tax collector, he likes the authorities because he's a tax collector and he can do anything and it's okay. The tax collector. But look quick, look quick. Jesus has snuck in and his disciples. And he is standing there by the tree. And he's also calling the tax collector by his name. Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus. You come down. For I must go to your house. Wow. People just stood there. The crowd was in complete shock, waiting for what's going to happen next. Let me interrupt here just a minute and give you some background about tax collectors. You see, tax collectors were despised by all. They did not receive a salary, but collected as much money as they could from the people. And giving the government what was due, then they pocketed the rest. Now, we don't really know why Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus. He probably had heard about him through all of the miracles that has happened and that he performed. But let's go back and listen to this conversation between Jesus and Zacchaeus. It is still continuing. Zacchaeus replies, Yes, Lord, right away. I'll be down. Come this way. And my home will be joyfully, will joyfully receive you as our guest. But the crowd was not happy with what was taking place. They could not understand. But Zacchaeus came down from the tree, he, and he was a changed man. Zacchaeus told Jesus, Look, Lord, I will give you half of my possessions to the poor, and if I have cheated anyone, I will repay them four times as much. Gradually, the crowd went away. But one has to ponder what really happened with this encounter. Zacchaeus really wasn't a bad guy, but simply one who had wandered off course. We might, and perhaps 
we have some of the tra same traits that Zacchaeus had. You say, no, no way. Well, what about being so bogged down with responsibilities of a job, family, medical issues, loneliness, feeling lost, all of these and more could become too much. Maybe, just maybe, if we climbed a little tree like Zacchaeus, we could overcome some of the obstacles that are weighing us down. If there were to be an encounter from the Lord, what a wonderful time and presence we would have. Jesus loved Zacchaeus. Even if he was a cheater. And this encounter shows us that we are loved also, regardless of our failures. This encounter that Zacchaeus had with Jesus was one of the last that Jesus had before the events of his death. We don't know what motivated Zacchaeus to want to see Jesus But I suspect he had heard about the good and wonders that took place because of Jesus. And maybe Zacchaeus had a curiosity or maybe remembering his upbringing. Or maybe he thought he could get some taxes from Jesus. Whatever the reason, we can be thankful for being a part of this encounter with both Jesus and Zacchaeus. Let us turn our hearts to our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, thank you for all who are wor worshiping you this day, wherever they are. Bless and nurture us in your name. And may we have joy and happiness that radiates. Comfort where there is conflict. Discord or pain due to illness. Loss of a loved one. Discouragement. Only you, O oh Lord, can touch and heal. Lord, you have given us many blessings. And now we give them back to you. For this we pray in your name. Amen.
Our, our next hymn is, It is Well With My Soul, uh, in the hymnal, page 377. You may remain seated or you can stand if you so desire. upon us for our, our morning offerings. Thank you. 
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for those who are gathered here today. May your blessing be upon us and upon the offerings given this day. And as you have taught us to pray, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from me. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.